Hello, my name is Heath Reed. And I'm Nicole. Welcome to Meditate and Move with ABMP. We're so thrilled to be partnering with ABMP and showing some of our favorite go to moves for go moving and shifting from a state of fear, mm -hmm. which is really endemic, into <laughs> a state of flow. We own a continuing education business where we teach massage therapy and movement therapy. And we also practice massage and body work. And what living meta represents, meta mm. is the Thai expression of loving kindness. And it is our goal, it is our core value to fill our connections with each other, with you, with loving kindness. How can we be friendly? How can we make friends with what is? And being friends with what is, is a way to presence the moment. How can I bring more of myself here in the moment in the face of COVID right now? COVID in this, this pandemic where we're constantly being inundated by fear, worry, nervousness, anxiousness. So what can we do about it? Yeah, well, one of the... <clears throat> Go to old story movies moves is a reaction. And it's like watching an old movie where it's already scripted. <laughs> it is like a movie. You're simply following in the habits of your default consciousness. And we're reacting, literally going through the same motions that we've done before. Instead of reaction, what we want to invite everybody to do and what we've been giving a lot of energy to is creation. Yeah, getting resourceful, becoming responsible in the moment so that I have possibilities to choose. How can I get choiceful? Yeah. And interestingly enough, the same letters that make up the word reaction are the same letters that make up the word creation. And in the face of so much destruction, right, with dismantling uh, institutions, with expectations mm -hmm. and assumptions and things that we thought for sure would be going on by now, crumbling apart, how can we juice and prime the pump on our own creativity mm -hmm. to feel resourceful, to build our ability to heal both ourself, our clients, and our, all yeah. those that we connect with, the entire globe? Yeah, our community, our local community, yeah, and this place that we live on. Uh, it's a time for us to, um, we, we're all given the opportunity to turn towards ourself, to just to, to take care of ourselves, to start to refill our cup. And I'm loving the opportunity to connect with you in this way. Physically, we don't get to be with one another, but socially, so I'm not even sure it should be called social distancing. Maybe it should be called physically distancing because That's I get right. to still connect in heartfelt ways with myself, with my buddies and with you. Yeah. So let's rename social distancing to physical distancing <laughs> and instead co-opt that energy towards social connections. And one of the ways that we've been connecting with this, this experience and amplifying our own creativity is by reframing COVID as healing with COVID and specifically using those letters, C-O-V-I-D, to create a new, presencing moves. Yeah, a new context from which we can become resourceful and choiceful and bring most of ourselves, more of ourselves into the moment. So we'll be over the next five days exploring calmness, openness, vigilance, intelligence, and dedication. And today we come to you, we bring to you the letter C. C, does that include cookies, Nicole? I hope so. <laughs> Practice a few of these with us and already you'll feel the sweetness that is cookie energy. Yeah, well, and it, their embodiment, it's, it's, it's the embodiment of our favorite self-care move. So there are ways that we can, um, change our become resourceful in the moment so we can what can we change what can we change from moment to moment what do we have the power to control and we have the opportunity to control our breath mm -hmm. we can control how we move or don't move in the face of fear we can also control where what am i paying attention where and what am I paying attention to? So we're going to play with those kind of three key ways that we can start to become more resourceful. So let's start with the breath. Mm. Let's inhale very deeply in through the nose and exhale out and open. <sighs> Try to breathe all the way down into your belly. Enjoy a few more deep breaths. Maybe add a little vibration, a little <sighs> sigh. Studies show, keep breathing deeply like this, that in as little as three deep diaphragmatic breaths, you can short circuit the fight or flight response 
and activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Mm. Yeah, just three beautiful breaths. And staying present with, staying with your breath from beginning to end. Now, if we'd like to add another layer, another level, especially for immune system building, and we know that stress, unmitigated fear is an incredible immunosuppressant. Mm. We can use this reset breath. We learned from legendary conscious breathing Dr. Gay Hendricks <laughs> as a way to deacidify our blood, mm -hmm. improve and balance the alkalinity and pH in our... Which will boost our immune system. And also help release static carbon dioxide. So it's much like the letting go breath, but the reset breath <laughs> invites you to inhale through your nose and then exhale like you're blowing out a candle on a little cupcake, birthday cake. That's about a foot or two in front of you. Now hold your breath out. Do this without tightening your throat or your belly, no physical engagement. And then right before your body would grab for more air, inhale again through the nose. Don't hold it up at the top of the breath. Exhale, roll it right out and open mouth. And then hold it out for a few heartbeats, as long as possible with the breath fully out. And then again, repeating, recirculating, inhaling easily, fully rolling it right into an open mouth, out breath just a few cycles. And we wanna go for at least two minutes of any of these breathe, move, or focus shift moves to get a physiological, biological resonance with what we're up to. And you can try this breath <clears throat> with your eyes open, get different sensations, then trying the breath with your eyes closed. I use this breath, per this breath personally when I'm feeling groggy, when I'm feeling tired, a little headachey, when I'm feeling a little grumpy. Um, so you can use this as a way to reset your own emotional, physical, and, and mental states. Let's do one more together, yeah? In through the nose. Roll it right into an open mouth. Exhale every last drop of breath out, out, out. Try not to squeeze. In yoga, sometimes they use bandhas or locks. Don't tighten anything. Hold it out. And then as you're ready, bring it right back on in. Especially useful to prepare and educate your nervous system through this <sighs> when you are feeling anxious or those around you mm -hmm. are feeling some trepidation. Yeah, so let your breath return back to its normal, easy flow in, flow out. And notice how that feels in your body. I feel nice little gentle warmth. I feel my voice kind of soften a little mm -hmm. bit and I feel mm -hmm. myself resting back a little more into my body. I almost notice the energy that tends to mm -hmm. circle and spiral up here as I'm going up into my brain or forward into the future because speed and urgency are sometimes trapped in with fear. I feel myself settling down yeah. into my heart space, into my back body. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, slowing down a bit. Yeah, so that we can create the space for us to become resourceful, choiceful. Yeah, Fun. so increasing our response agility with mm, some movement. So yes. let's stand up. Let's do this. Join us for as we... some yin self massage. Yes. So this so. is based in Qigong. Mm -hmm. Move this chair out of the way. If you and... have enough room where you're not going to hit the wall, or if you've got a buddy where you're not going to knock into uh, your neighbor. Let's see. Thanks, Jake. All right. So uh, yin Qigong, Qigong yin self massage here. Um, this is a really beautiful and sweet way for you to start to ah, feel your own kind of, feel yourself getting calm, kind of smoothing out your own auric field, smoothing, cooling your energy system. You can start with your feet about hip width apart. Your knees are a little micro bend in your knees. They're nice and soft, shoulders down and back. And with your palms, with your hands coming, starting to float out your sides and up towards the sky, inhale. And then your hands meet above your head, palms come together, and you're gonna bring those palms down behind the back of your head, behind your neck, and then drag your fingers towards the front of your body. And now comb the tension out and down in front of your neck, like you're a kitty cat pawing down the front of your own neck. Still breathing in and breathing out. And then you're gonna take the pinky edge of your hands to your sternum and slide them down the front of your chest, through your sternum, underneath your heart, follow your ribs all the way around to the back of your body so that your hands are resting on your low back or kidneys. Once you're on your low back and kidneys, start to massage and warm your kidneys with your attention, with your breath, fill your back body up with your breath. Breathe deep. 
Can you breathe into your back body? Cool the jets of that adrenaline circulating and then continue gliding, sliding down the sides, the outsides of your legs, all the way down to a forward fold. Your fingers are gonna brush over your toes and then come up, you're gonna roll up, sliding, gliding, smoothing out the inside of your thighs up through your groin. And then you're gonna take your hands and they're gonna crisscross across your chest so that your hands rest on your shoulders. Slide out your shoulders. Come to the front so that your wrists meet and then create nice little lotus palms. And let's try that again. You're gonna bring these hands behind your back, behind your head, down your neck. Drag your fingers forward, drag the traps forward. Pet yourself down, cool yourself down the front of your neck. Stimulate the thymus. Mm. And then bringing that pinky edge of your hands down the sternum. Cool the heart, calm the heart, drag the energy down and around to the back of your body. Massage those kidneys, mm. massage your low back. Breathe into your back body. Maybe add the extra bonus feature of your smile. Mm. Smile into your body as you begin to smooth out, calm the chi, smooth out your field down the sides, outside of your legs, sealing up any leaks as you sweep across the tops of your feet. Scoop and slide up the inner thigh through your hips, through your groins, crisscross your arms to the opposite shoulders. Let the hands slide out those shoulders, out those arms. Wrists meet, twirling, swirling lotus. Palms come together and let's do one more tracing down the back of your neck, kind of comb the back of your head, pull the traps forward, and then paw, cat paw the front of your neck. Pinky edge of your hand down the sternum, wrap around. Again, warm, give yourself some loving attention, support yourself with your breath. Majority of your lungs are in the back half of your ribcage, so breathe into your back body. And then here we go, last time sliding down the outside of your legs, across the top of your feet, up the inside of your legs, through the groin, but this time instead of going all the way up, let your palms rest, palm over palm over your sea of chi, your lower belly, your <sighs> dan tien. Notice how that feels. How does it feel to circulate your energy, your chi, the chi knows where to go, let it go where it needs to go. Give yourself the space to heal yourself, trust in your body's wisdom to support you, care for you. Big breath here. Mm, yum. So the last exercise we want to share with you is a meditation. So ask your body if you'd rather be standing, sitting down, or even laying down. And make your way. I'm going to come to a seated position. All right, and I'll stay standing. So for this Can we back up a little heat it's still? It's called the circulation of light. Thanks. Sometimes referred to as the microcosmic orbit. So what we're going to be doing mm -hmm. is we're going to visualize a big ball of chi or energy at the base of our hips and pelvis. You could even, as Nicole's doing, use your hands to enhance your visualization. Try in all kinds of different colors till you find the one that's perfect for you today. Mm -hmm. Next to in-breath, imagine that energy circulating up from your perineum, the base of your pelvis, all the way up to your brain. But as you exhale, visualize that light circling back down your head, your neck, your shoulders, all the way down your spinal mm. column. And enjoy a few breaths like this. You inhale up the spine, exhaling down the spine. Maybe slow your breath to slow the movement. Add as much visualization as you like. And if you want, you can even add some affirmations. We learned this from our Qigong master, Dr. Peter Chow at The Way in Phoenix, Arizona. And when you inhale next time, visualize the light up and repeat the word calm in your mind's eye. As you exhale, say the word down as you visualize that light circulating back down. Calm on the way up, down on the way down. If you'd like to add one more layer to this Taoist Qigong exercise, we're going to add a little engagement of our pelvis. So inhale, calm, but this time hold your breath and lift your perineum. Like you have to go to the bathroom, but you're holding it in. 
repeat the word me at the top as you hold it. And then release your breath, release the lock and say down. Calm on the way up and then engage your pelvic floor. Hold it, say me, and then down, release it. You can also connect the front and back of the main axes of governing the conception vessel, ren my, do my, by bringing the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Let's continue for one more flow of calm. Engage the perineum, the pelvic floor, knee, down. So self-care does not have to be a whole yoga class. It doesn't have to be uh, at the gym. It doesn't have to be live in real time. <laughs> but we do encourage you to find at least two minutes every day. Give back to yourself, either through mm. movement, breath, or consciously focusing your attention. And in this way, you begin to generate not only greater resources and uh, engagement possibilities for your own mm -hmm. well-being, but you become a light, a beacon, an invitation for others to do the same. Mm -hmm. And in this small way, we begin to spread loving kindness. We spread whatever your core values of compassion, care with all those we touch. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you feel calm, a little more at ease and at rest, resting back in your body. Yeah. Continue mm -hmm. to follow us on the ABMP page or Living Meta at our website. We have four more days of this. We're going to continue to explore the O, the V, and the I, and the D. And we'd love for you to join us. Come play. <laughs> <laughs> have a great day. See you soon. Mm -hmm.